Rob, investigators here at the Niles Police Department say over the last 24 hours, they have come to believe that this, ac this accident may have never actually been a hit and run at all. All day, the victim's wife has been wondering who left her husband to die in the street. And tonight, police say that driver probably never left the scene at all, but instead lied. Gad invites you to dream of the day when you feel his hand on your shoulder. It's eerie to listen to Mary Podwora read those words, almost as if they were written for her husband. These words surely await you in heaven. They were printed on the card that her husband Michael had gone to pick up for his pastor Thursday night. He walked out of this Niles Hallmark store and headed home along Greenwood Avenue. I saw that there was a couple cars pulled over and somebody laying at the curbside. A gentleman was there and he was standing over a the person's body. Right away, she could tell Michael Podwara was in bad shape. Started CPR. I could tell that his legs were broken. They, he seemed very. Um... As he was taken away to the hospital, barely alive, police say the driver of the car that had killed Michael Podwara, likely a white truck or SUV, had sped off and left the 72 year old man to die. His brand new wife rushed to the hospital frantic and barefoot. And I said, My husband's dead. And he said, how do you know that? And I said, I just know. Now police say the driver who killed Podwara never left the scene at all. There was no truck or SUV. Police say another driver at the scene who did stop may have lied about hitting Podwara and fabricated the story about another vehicle being responsible. There was two people standing there. That's it? That's it. Okay. They seemed pretty frantic, mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody was. Still, Michael's wife is now without the man she waited almost 20 years to marry. You don't marry somebody to bury him. Mary said she and her husband had been planning a honeymoon somewhere warm. Tonight, no one is under arrest, but Niles investigators say this investigation is continuing and it's still possible charges could be brought against someone. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.